Okay, I've been gone a while, longer than expected, but I am sure r slash gacha life cringe hasn't been too spaghetti while I've been gone. No, just no, gacha heat and map pride discussion. Why these stereotypes are good. Hmm, I don't think we even need a discussion as to why this is bad in every single way. I actually want this image right here blurred because my Christian mind does not need to see this. And what even is a stereotype to someone who likes gacha heat or wants to have map pride? Get in the bin. Bruh, what even is this next one? Sounds like spaghetti to me. I don't even know what's going on here. They must have been having an argument and their comeback is at least we don't flirt with the same gender. <laughs> God damn, you got him. Not only have they got to deal with being gay and fabulous or something, now they have this crushing defeat and realization from this comeback that they like the same gender. I mean, bro, it's, it's not that deep. Why are you crying this much? No, because what the spaghetti is this. Respect everyone despite your beliefs. Man, there is a lot going on in this image. Regardless of, like, the flag burning, the biggest crime in this caption is... A draw for gaze. I hope you like it. And it's just got happy pride month. I mean, that's not even a correct sentence right here, you muffin. A draw for gaze. I hope you like it. You're such an idiot. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll draw something over this image to get rid of this spaghetti. This flame looks a little bit like, uh, you know, a crisp, you know, a potato chip. We'll just draw a big goofy smile with some eyes and eyebrows where one's a little bit higher and he's given that look. And he can be like, hey, I've, I've got the big gay, hey, I'm, I'm burning here. Man, this, this drawing is so bad. I, yeah, it's so fabulous because it destroys what this little muffin was hoping for. Right, welcome back everyone. It's your favorite default boy, King Simp Ben. I, I took a break from YouTube, but we're back. I took a bit of a longer break than I expected, but hopefully we are back on that grind. It was really nice to see everyone sort of, you know, reach out and you know, message me on Twitter and Instagram. Regardless if I, I didn't respond, I did see the messages. There were a lot of weird messages, but I appreciate, you know, the uh, the messages nonetheless. It was really nice. I just want to say thank you as well to Audrey on Twitter. She made some really nice fan art of me and Pegasus, so that was cool to see. It really does mean a lot seeing this type of stuff. You guys can interact with me on Twitter and Instagram at It's Ben95. I do try my best to respond to DMs, but but there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of DMs. With that being said, let's enjoy some cringe. This is from my Instagram story. She is spaghetti because her boyfriend, Laughing Jack, who is a clown that, k that kills children, broke up with her and now there is nobody to protect her from the bullies, bullying her for being spaghetti and mayonnaise. <laughs> I don't know, but they will end up back together at the end anyways. Man, what are, what are these kids doing? Laughing Jack, who is a clown who kills children and protects her from bullies. I mean, what is this bootleg Pennywise? If anyone was really interested in this story, like I said, don't worry, they get back together at the end. It's it's really, really good story. We love it here. <laughs> No one cares. My top is better than your top. I always forget what top and bottom generally means in this community. It's uh, it's something weird, and I'm pretty sure people till still tell me, but I just I just forget. I think I've just got an auto delete on whatever that means. Bro, what did I just find? The cringiest bit is at the end. Sorry. Oh, okay, so we've got like a bit of a story here. Let's let's check this out. I'm calling your parents, Leah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Why you did that? <laughs> God, oh my God. They died when I was four. Oh, oh, that's so bad. Everyone hide. Is that it? <laughs> that, <laughs> what? Okay, cool. That's the story, I guess. Oh, so we've got an absolutely crazy one here. Someone is suicider, bullied, drug attic. What's a drug attic? Spaghetti. Broken alcoholic. Damn, these these kids really are living in some tough times. Being a drug addict or suicider. <laughs> so bad. Unintentional spaghetti, anyone? She's transgender, so in this case she feels like a boy. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I've got this one here. I don't really know what I'm actually looking at. 
There's a pretty long thing, there's a trigger warning of spaghetti harm, misgendering, discrimination of non-binary people. So we'll have to see what this one really is. And yeah, so fake non-binary boy sticks with his birth name or chooses a boy name. It's obvious he is a boy. Real non-binary. You don't see what they are born as. They have gender neutral name, moth, arson, bunny. Okay, I, t I, I don't know, I don't really know much about this type of things, so I don't know if Moth is a legit name, or Arson, or Bunny, like, <laughs> I don't know, and then there's fake non-binary girl, sticks with her birth name or chooses a girl name, it's obvious she is a girl. Okay, so let's go on to the next, the next thing, because apparently there's some big evidence here that this person is faking. Alright, so here is the proof, there's some eyeliner. Some boobs, I guess. <laughs> With some stripy leggings. Repost because it was taken down. I don't know why. It's just me exposing her. LGBT saver. What? What? Am, what am I looking at? I don't know. Can anyone in the comments let me know if if this is even a thing? I I don't know what's going on here. All right. So there's also this thing at the end as well. Whoa! You're a fake non-binary and poor. Pick a struggle. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I got my phone from eBay for 100 euros. It could die any second, and I wonder how I still can use iBid paint. My dad would never give me 50 euros for a piece of fabric to make my chest disappear. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to move on. If anyone in the comments wants to say anything, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. YouTube, stop recommending me these gacha videos. Hi, I'm Emily, and this is my story. I fell in love with my sister. Lesbian story, that's... <laughs> what? Oh my god, like, what a, what a crazy story. 57,000 views with 1,500 dislikes. I mean, I would watch this video, but I know it's just gonna be so bad I can save myself from burning my eyes. Yeah, because it's okay to kill someone just to see your boyfriend's reaction. I only killed her to see your reaction. Damn, that's... <laughs> Why? Why are kids making this as like a possible good story? It's so bad. Anyone who thinks that this is like a good story, no, it is not. Like, why? <laughs> no words. Gacha Heat 13 plus. Obviously, whatever he was doing was so good that it has the views of the devil, I believe, and whatever was going on here just caused an atomic explosion of just raw energy. God damn. <laughs> Why? So apparently according to cringy TikTok kiddos, being a Pisces makes you a killer. Be careful at night, sir. Anyone who thinks... What is it? Zodiac signs are like a legit characteristic trait to determine what you're like is an idiot. I had to sit for an hour the other day listening to a kid tell me that because I'm a Gemini that I like the most basic relatable things. It was it was terrible. I, your boy your boy Ben did not have a good time. Oh, there's also a second part. Pisces. So PLP that mean kill them, killer. What does what does PLP mean? Let me have a little search this up. Apparently it means Parliamentary Labour Party. Okay, I don't think that's what it is, so we'll just move on. For starters, that is not how you get a boyfriend slash girlfriend. Does anyone have a boy that would like to be my boyfriend? Oscar, you are such a loser. You are you are a gamer virgin, but you're not the good kind, which is my kind. So get in the bin. 